what is going on YouTube I have another video here today uh, and this one is going to be regarding uh, the future plans that I have regarding my pumpkin duke now what I'm gonna be doing is finally taking him to eight of nine um, now when I got him originally to seven of nine I saw that experience and I was like oh my goodness let me work on my other heroes for the meantime and while I did that I got my my Cupid to 7 of 9 as well as my Minotaur and a few others uh, like for instance I, I just recently got my Thundergat to 5 of 9 which will definitely help because he's, he's the one that I'm thinking of using when I get my 6 hero base so I thought that that was going to be beneficial and didn't really take that many shards as well as got my Emortep to 5 of 9 uh, with the storm of Seth, cause he's gonna uh, he's gonna be start being used once he gets to roughly about seven stars, and I start doing wave H. So that was basically what I was thinking of. Now outside of that, I do have my spirit mage at six and nine, and I was debating of maybe taking him to seven of nine before um, starting with my pumpkin duke, but I don't really, I I just don't see ten thousand shards being worth the seven of nine on on spirit mage at this point, anyways because the damage increase and just one extra target it's just not really worth it for me at the moment because I do dungeons and raids easy enough as it is anyways so uh, I don't know the reaper here is 5 of 9 I don't really plan on using him for a while and then every other hero here I don't really use if at all so I figured it was the perfect time to start on pumpkin duke now if you don't already know this from 7 of 9 to 8 of 9 does take 25,000 shards which is why I kinda held off on it because it, it look it, it's kinda daunting when you look at it from afar but what I'm gonna be doing is basically start this journey uh, along with you guys and I'll be keeping you guys uh, updated with my pro my progression the shark counts and all of that so I'll be officially be starting that today now uh, I decided on that yesterday so because of that that's why I have uh, about a thousand shards right now so if I was to make a thousand shards a day that would mean that it would take me roughly about 24 days to get there which coincidentally is roughly about the amount of days that I have to uh, so I finish the uh, the six hero base at least the requirements because all I need is this gold mines and my mana uh, my mana mills are going to 15 right now except this one but that one's gonna be done in a few minutes there so all in all, I should be getting my 8 of 9 Pumpkin Duke right before I get my 6 Hero Base, which is perfect for me because then that'll give me enough time to get my Druid to 5 of 9, which I probably should have done before, but I just don't see it as a priority right now. It's just, you know, it doesn't really help me too much until I get that extra Hero Base. So, uh, at least that way with that timeline, it kind of coincides with this. And either way, um, that really wouldn't take that many shards anyway, so I'm not too worried there. But overall, um, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Um, now, I'm also going to be doing uh, a Hero Spotlight. I know I said that those videos were going to come out soon, but uh, I'm basically trying to make sure I have all of the information that I need for each hero in the right format. Um, that way, those videos actually have all the information that one white might need on a hero, and I don't miss anything. So, those will be coming out uh, real soon. But um, if you guys see anything that I should do before maybe getting this uh, Pumpkin Duke to 8 of 9, definitely point it out to me. Um, like I said it before in other videos, my channel is still pretty small, so I read all the comments and I reply to all of them. So, you know, definitely leave any sort of feedback and I'll definitely get back to you. Um, but, yeah, that's it for this video. And until then, guys, bye.